Good morning to you. The greatest thing ever is college. In college on Sundays, we would clean our apartment. Saturdays, we would be fucking partying. And then Sundays, I would make chicken broccoli Alfredo. And I'm gonna show you how to make it from my memory, which is vague, clouded. You know when your mom's like, the kids are doing MDMA. Holes in their brain the size of pencils. You could probably put 5,000 pencils through my brain. I'm about to make you a chicken broccoli, chicken Alfredo that reminds me of college. See you soon. I'm still here. Let's begin. We got some beautiful broccoli. Oh, smell that. It smells like pennies. We're gonna make some florets. Oh. So the easiest way to make florets is I just kind of cut away. And it's like every time I do this, I still think it's like fern gully or something. I'm just like cutting trees and they're like, no, don't cut the trees. And you're like, I gotta cut the trees kinda cause I need the broccoli for the chicken alfredo. So this is the florets. That's nice, right? Pretty quick, pretty easy. And what we're left with are these. Hello? Just chop them up, okay? We got boiling water over here, okay? Season it with some salt. We're gonna throw in our broccoli stems. This should be boiling. It was boiling, I turned it down. Come on, we got that going here. Now, put some cream, I guess two cups of cream. Two cups of cream is good. We're gonna bring this up to a warm temperature. Medium heat, we don't wanna scald it. Then, we're gonna take some chais. I don't make it easy. I feel it seems easy, but it doesn't seem easy. Do I actually make things easy? Because in my mind it's easy, but I'm a profesh. And I can fuck around and do whatever the fuck I want because I know actually what I'm doing. But it's like, at home, you're like, wait, he just did something insane looking. And you're like, wait. And I'm like, yeah, that's okay. That's the right amount of cheese. We do want to kind of cook the broccoli through. We don't want it to be like al dente for this. We want to cook it through, put it in the cream, add the cheese, and we're gonna fucking blend it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Okay, are we fork tender here? A little more. Ah! This has to be like soft, but not like mush. Does that make sense? See that? The cream came up. We just need to bring the cream up. We're gonna make a sauce. We're gonna add the broccoli. We're gonna just barely cover. There we go. Now, put some Parmesan cheese in there. A fair amount, actually. We're pretty much making like a warm salad dressing. Olive oil, probably like three, four tablespoons. A pinch of nutmeg, fresh cracked pepper, and some salt. We got some beautiful curly parsley. Here we go. And this is gonna become, watch this. You got this, long lens. We're gonna take a little bit of hot water. There we go. Oh, it's a transfer of just emotions and love and light. So let's take a taste of how it This is fire. Mm. So we're gonna clean up and we're gonna come back. We're gonna fry some beautiful chicken thighs and some olive oil, cook some broccoli and, and make some gremolata. See you soon. For some reason, people are making garlic roasting videos. I'll show you mine, this. Add some olive oil, add some salt, and then we make a garlic. And then it looks like, see what the ball did? looks like garlic. It does look like garlic. Is that a TikTok? The honey hole is right here. I want some breadcrumbs. I want textures. I want to make like gremolata, like a little bit of a, a breadcrumb here. So we're just gonna take some bread, some olive oil, and we're just gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. We're gonna roast the garlic and the bread in a preheated oven at uh, 350 degrees. Reynolds tinfoil wrap, the only tinfoil wrap I use on occasions. Now, look at these beautiful chicken legs. Cast iron pan. Shout out to me for making the best one on market. You can buy these, not really anywhere. Good for me. I'm selling something that doesn't exist. I want enough olive oil to completely cover the bottom. Maybe they'll use some of that Reynolds finest. We're just gonna do salt and pepper. We've already had enough flavor with the uh, broccoli sauce. So we're just gonna salt and pepper, okay? I'm sick of touching raw chicken too, okay? Grab a jar of pickles with your chicken hand. Take now, just ruin all of this. You know, so flip it over. We're gonna season both sides. We want just like that pure, nice kind of fried, roasted chicken taste. Ooh, 
Ooh, ah, ooh. Man, that Reynolds, ooh. Typically, cook these skin side down first, but no skin. Okay, we got a hot cast iron pan. I'm still gonna cook it, I guess, where the skin was side down. And we're just roasting away, that's it. Medium high heat. We're just gonna brown these up. It'll take, you know, seven, eight minutes a side. These are done in 14 minutes. We're cooking here. Look at this. We're just gonna flip that up. Toast that up on each side. Okay. It's kind of nice to have friends. It's kind of nice to have fettuccine Alfredo. Never in a million years would I think I'm gonna make a chicken broccoli Alfredo. But here I am making one based off of memories from college. That's food. All right, we're good over here. Let's get the bread out. Garlic's still gonna take a couple more minutes. But you can grab this so you don't burn it. Put that back in. Boom. So there, olive oil, toast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend that up with that roasted garlic, and we're gonna fine chop some parsley. Mix that in. All right, let's turn it. And we can flip these back and forth, but we got nice color. And the thing too, if you wanted to, take a couple cloves of garlic. Just put them in there if you wanted to. Also, if you wanted to be a real bad boy, we got some butter. Why not? Throw it in. Mmm, look at that. That's nice. It smells incredible. Another thing you could do too is just cover it, you know? Just do that. Let's take a peeky poo. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is good. Look at that. Right? I'm just gonna pour off all that butter and oil all over this. We're gonna just do a quick little deglaze. We're just gonna scrape up all that fond, all that good stuff, all that garlic. And we're just gonna pour that all over the chicken as well. There we go. That's nice right there, isn't it? This garlic, let's see. Let's see actually if this can fucking, this is hot. It smells good. I think we're good. We are gonna make three clove garlic bread. We're gonna make the best gremolata ever, okay? Oh, that's hot! There's no way that these idiots are doing this hot, right? Like they let it cool down? I hate trends. Ugh, fuck. Ugh, fuck. Ugh. Don't do that, I think. Don't do that. Ah, fuck. Take the garlic. And we're just gonna smush it into this. Now we're gonna stack it. And now we're just gonna, we're just gonna hand chop this. And now we're just gonna dice this up. Now, put this on top. More salt, pepper, and we got a little bit of this garlic oil. And now we chop this all up. A gremolata, gremolata, gremolata. We got everything going here. Fettuccine takes a while. I would say proportion. Like that much. We got four chicken legs. Let's do four pork. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we got the fettuccine. Didn't even season the water. That much salt. I'm kind of just moving the noodles around, kind of moving top to bottom. Dried noodles are probably going to take like, I don't know, like eight minutes probably. Okay, let's see. That's good to go. I got it. Add the broccoli in. We're just going to par cook. It's going to cook for about a minute. So then. Let's just strain our pasta. Get all that pasta out. Then you take your spider. Look at that steaming broccoli right in there. Isn't that like a good example of college? Just holding on barely, just boiled to death. Here we go, look at this. This is beautiful, just like that. Okay, here we go. And we're just gonna add our Alfredo sauce. Look at this. Here we go. Easy, don't put the lid in. Glug in some olive oil, fresh cracked pap, couple knobs of butter. Let's stir this up. Look at this, look at this. The one that I was making in college didn't look like this. <coughs> okay, here we go. Look at that sauce. Like it's just like, it's so velvety. And this is what I'm talking about. This is four buddies coming together. No matter how bad the school week was, no matter how bad you got beaten down that week, or how bad you partied that night before, friendship 
prevailed. This gives you some kind of fake ambition. This gets you like in a delusional world where you think you're gonna succeed because the food tastes so good. The fact of the matter is the food's better than you. Supper's ready, guys! No one's here. They have all lived their I'm literally in Nashville. They all still live in, in Toronto, so. Okay, look at this. Oh, look at this. A little pasta, a couple broth, get the ones that fall around. A little chicky leg, a little, little, little breadcrumb, a little gremolata. Mm. That looks like a really nice supper for somebody. Let me show you how you eat this. Yeah. Little chicky, a little nude. Little gremolata, look at that. That's amore. Bro, that's good right there. Look at that. Wow. Mmm, it's kind of good for you because of broccoli. Look at this. All that little pan jus, that fat, that oil. Like that looks good. It's fucking over, bro. This is for everybody. This is for Doug Brown, actually. Broccoli, he used to love this. My old roommate, we love him. This one's for you, Doug. We love you, we miss you. World peace. Mm. This is cooking something, my man Matheson. I love you. Stay in school. Or drop out, I dropped out. So drop out, stay in school, who cares? Mmm. Mmm, this chicken's phenomenal. Mmm, mmm. And then after we do all this, we bring out fucking like an eight ball.